What's up, guys, to another edition of AFK Discussions Podcast. This is one of your hosts, Phil, always with Jason. Now, I was away on vacation. We had a lot to talk about. Before we do, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok while it's still around. We don't know if it's going to be gone forever or not, uh, but that's at AFK Discussions Podcast. And not only that, do not forget our sponsors, or sponsor, I should say, Fat Tech, the guys at Fat Tech, for all of your um, side piece needs, all of your tactical gear, for all you jack guys out there, all your dad bod guys, all you guys that are bigger than that. I'm not going to identify you with a different name, but let's just say dad bod. But, um, you know, these guys are great. That's fattac.com. F A T T A C, or is it just one T? T F A T T A C. Yeah. T A C. F A T T A C dot com. That's fattac.com. Give them some love and let them know AFK Discussion sent you. And that's that. Jason, how are you? Good, dude. Good. Man, so what is going on with Twitter? I, I, I briefly saw some news about them trying to shut it down, but you know, what is up? I, I think you mean TikTok, but I know. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. That's why I said Twitter. Well, Twitter's <laughs> no more. It's X now. Anyways. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the, they did, I think, uh, by 81% of whatever the Congress or whatever approved to ban it. So then it's going to go to the Senate, and then we'll see from there. For what I understand, for the longest time, I didn't really understand the whole th- the whole banning of TikTok thing. Obviously, for those that don't know, it's run by the Chinese government. Now, oh. obviously, uh, China, they have a different version of TikTok in China. So the TikTok in China is more like educational. And so then the one in America that they have for America is more uh, like obviously what, what it is, more entertainment, stuff like that. So the government, I think, is concerned with like a... Uh, because they they don't, they don't know what the app like what's going into the app how they're collecting data all that kind of stuff they don't know anything because it's basically a Chinese company so they want um, it to be like an Amer there Amer- there be a, like an American version or something so that way they know what's going on you know that kind of thing I think yeah. it's more of like that sort of a deal and that's why they're kind of banning it not that TikTok in general is bad necessarily I just think it's uh, the government wants to know and wants to have more control or or something like that and it's kind of like a more of like a thing with China. So um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think if they do ban it, I think it'll be back eventually with some sort of negotiation with China or something. They'll make like yeah. an American version that the, you know, the government can see into and approve or whatever. And then it'll be back probably. But um, it is kind of strange to have the gov- the U S government try to ban an app. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> but see, I always thought that TikTok was associated with like Instagram and Facebook. Cause you can cross post. Yeah, that was just my assumption, but I guess it's right. not. Yeah, no, they're yeah, they're definitely a Chinese company and all that. So, um, yeah, there was like a scare with TikTok a while back with like, oh, they're collecting people's information. Is this a a, a Chinese psyop uh, app? You know, sent to destroy Americans by giving them mindless entertainment and false information. That kind of a narrative type thing. Well, um, I mean, that, that is kind of worrisome though, because I mean, you know, um, it seems like a thing that you know, an, another country would do to kind of intro, infiltrate and learn about their population and all this. I mean, they, they have all their information right there. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. It's, and it's possible. And you know, with apps too, when you download an app, you just like, yeah, agree, agree, agree. You don't, no one actually reads any of that stuff. I mean, if you do, God bless you, but uh, no one ever reads the user agreements when you download an app and stuff. So Lord knows what you you agree to anyway. Yeah. Um, but with that said, uh, for the most part, it's probably just uh, um a fun app, but who knows what, you know, information they are collecting. Dude, do you know an app that I think it's maybe still around, but I don't think many people, well, many people in America use it anymore. Dude, I was so addicted to the Periscope app. Do you remember that app? It's not familiar. Could go on and, you know, I had a picture of the world and you could see whoever was live around the world and you click on it and watch their streams. Yes. I was so, I was so infatuated with seeing like people, in other cultures and just how they do things. I mean, I, I would spend hours like, you know, Russia, they had all these people just doing their day to day lives. You know, they'd be like at a coffee shop and have the, you know, the phone on while they're just drinking coffee and reading. It was very, very, very interesting. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. what's weird that you say that, you know, what's really a lot, a lot like that is um, TikTok is a lot like that too. Like if you scroll TikTok live, that's essentially what TikTok live is. It's like a whole bunch of people, random people like going live and either dude it's the most random stuff i've seen like mennonite women on there 
talking about Jesus. I've seen um, this guy with pink hair, uh, missing teeth in like a half shirt, uh, just dropping wisdom. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, it's just, it is the weirdest thing in the world to go just go through the lives. And then you'll see some random person sitting there. Um, <laughs> like someone was dressed up as Mandalorian. Okay. You know, the Mandalorian <laughs> yeah. character dressed up as a Mandalorian character. They got stuff in the background. They're pretending they're flying a ship. That's the live. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Dude, there is, <laughs> you have no idea what's on here. It is like anything you can ever imagine from like normal people to like the weirdest people you've ever seen in your life. That's my point. Uh, so it's a lot like that where like, you can literally just go through and be like, what? A-? And it, and you know, and there's people out there that are like, do you make money from TikTok by going live? And so like, um, it's very weird because like, I, I do understand like if, if you are making money from TikTok and they're going to ban it, it's like, you know, where, where are these people going to go? That's like a whole other conversation that I, w- I always find yeah. fascinating. Well, especially for me as us, as content creators, I should say, yeah. it's like, where's that next, where are those crowds going to go? If TikTok does get banned, we need mm-hmm. to know where they get these other people are going to go. So that way we can be there with yeah. our content while these people are coming in. Um, well, as far it's as hard to figure that out. Yeah. As far as short, short form videos, cause that's what TikTok is known for, you know, the short form, um, if, which is something Instagram is kind of doing, but man, I think YouTube is cornering the, the short form video right now. I think cause they shorts. have, uh, yeah, the shorts are essentially TikTok. I mean, you can scroll through them just like, like you do on TikTok. You know? Essentially, yeah, and I—I I mean, I post for exploring with Phil. I post basically all my trailers on there. Any of the real or fakes, I do. I did one of the food ones. Uh, Phil tries things and put one of those on there. So, like anything that I can make into a short and put on there, is the only way you can grow on YouTube. That's basically how they, how they like pigeonhole you into doing what they want you to do, which is basically making shorts. It's yeah. like it's Instagram's the same way. Like I love Instagram. But like every time you try to post something, it automatically tries to make it a reel. Yeah. And you're like, can I just make a, a regular picture post like Instagram is supposed to be? Or do does everything have to be a reel? Like what is happening? Yeah. But dude, it's that same concept from TikTok. Like even Facebook's that same way. Facebook has the same thing. They have a whole section that's just like TikTok. So um, the influence is massive for sure. Uh, but I don't think it's going away. I don't think it'll be banned. I think it'll be fine. Um, at least I hope so. Yeah. Because I like TikTok and I think it's a great tool for creators to use to reach a larger audience. There's mm-hmm. no doubt about that. Another thing that, you know, like, because I've mentioned in the past, we do have a, um, what is it? <laughs> I want to say Twitch, but it's not. Yeah, Twitch. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, video yeah, game yeah. The gaming one. Yeah. yeah. But they do more than video game streaming. They have a IR, IRL channel, which is, you know, in real life. And they just people... We'll just like if they're working in, in their office, they'll just put a camera up and stream their office all day of really? them doing their job. Yeah. No, dude, cool. th- there's that's weird that you say that because um, oh, I saw something very similar where it was like someone, uh, I don't know if it was someone who told me this or if like <laughs> I was on the show. I don't even know. But like, wherever it was, someone might, maybe someone told me this. I don't know, whatever it was. But they had like, uh, maybe it was a show. But they had a VR game, like the the son or daughter, or whatever it was, didn't want to work. And but they had this VR game where they stock groceries, <laughs> and they loved the they loved it. You know what I mean? They love like the dude. It's just so weird that there's there is games like that though. Uh, <laughs> where like I've seen ones like the the truck driver ones or the plane ones. It started with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But now like you, there's literally like the most mundane or like fork trucks. You know, like oh I'm a fork truck driver now. Driver, yeah. it's like. I don't understand how anyone would want to play that, but these people are doing it. Yeah. These people are making money at it. And it's just like, they'll do that, but not actually want to do the actual job. That is that. Yeah. Uh, My weird. nephew plays farm simulator. So. See? There you go. <laughs> you farm. I bet, I, bet, I bet if you put him in an actual field and had him to actually do the work that he's doing on that phone. Oh no, no he way. He would not want to do it. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I mean, there's a lot of games now that are like, like that. that. No, yeah, no, it's really just, weird. You think they're yeah. secretly trying to train people to be like, oh, this is what your job's going to be. So I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, just <laughs> I saw this meme. It's hilarious. It cracks me up because they're like, we fought to um, get child labor laws in place, you know, so that, you know, they couldn't like make children work in the mines. 
Sure. And, you know, in the 2000s, the most popular game is Minecraft. <laughs> the children long for the mines. <laughs> we shouldn't have taken it away. You know, like, we, we thought we knew. We thought we knew better, but you know, it turns out that their little hands, you know, needed to be in those mills. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, working those little machine parts that only their little hands could fix. You know, yeah, yeah a few of them died here or there, but they were having a great time down there. <laughs> Don't rob them of this. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Jason. We do need to bring back uh, child. Kids need to work. Kids I need to work. Like Jason I, said it, it here. You, <laughs> the child work. The child work starts here. I'm sorry. We're not uh, going to go on the mines. <laughs> uh, that would be a great threat as to uh, as far as fake punishment. You know, to be like. All right. Well, you know what? We're going down the mine. I already signed you up. That's where you're going. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I got a surprise, Bill. I got a surprise for you. Oh, I love it. Are you ready? I'm beyond ready. <laughs> I teased it. You may have saw it on Instagram before we uh, started recording. So I think I did. Yes. Phil has been trying things, and I'm yeah. going to try. I love it. Boba. It's from Taiwan. It's Very a cool. it's a Hello Kitty boba. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we got it at Costco. Nice. But yeah, I'm excited. I like matcha a lot, and this is matcha flavored. Yep. So, so it's like uh, a boba a boba milk tea kind of kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So like the little bubbles in it and all that. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Let's it's in Taiwan. Let's let's hear that pop. Yep. yep. There we go. That's a pretty clean pop. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. A lot of fizz. Oh, he's going right in. He wants to try. For a sip, matcha, yeah, it's good. On the on the scale yeah. of uh, the matchas you've had your entire life, where does this rank? You um, can take another yeah. sip if you need. Not average, I but guess. average. Mm-hmm. Is it cold or is it warm? It's cold. Okay, good. It's good. I mean, it's it's really good. So nice. if you like Hello Kitty, yeah, and you like boba, um, go to Costco and pick some up. <laughs> nice. So, so um, would you would you buy this? Would this be something you'd buy again, based on um, the price and the value, the taste? Well, I mean, it was like fourteen bucks for Oof. I think eight. Oh eight man, cans. that's killer. Or was that, is, that seems no. like a lot. No, it's twelve cans. I'm sorry, fourteen okay. for twelve. Okay. Um, and you get four or three flavors, four cans of each. So there's the matcha. There's the Taro, which I haven't tried yet. Taro is kind of like a um, sweet potato flavor, I guess. Sweet potato flavor. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, they have um, brown sugar m- milk tea. Um, so. yeah, now that sounds pretty good. Yeah. You ever have that uh, uh, Mexican milk? I can't remember the name of it is, but it has like cinnamon and stuff in it like that. Um, that is, gosh, oh, if you called? hadn't said it, um, <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. It's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, I want to say it begins with a C, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So they have um, the hibiscus water. Have you tried that? No, I haven't. It's Is called, it um, yeah, it's called, it's called Jamaica, I think, or Jamaica, 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 because, you know, J is not um, a hard J, makes it like an H sound in Spanish. But um, yeah, horchata. it's really good. Yeah, horchata. Yes. Horchata. Horchata. Very, so, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. But yeah, I'm going to be drinking this the rest of the episode, guys. So if you hear me slurping, just know it's bulba. Nice. I love <laughs> it. I haven't, I, haven't any, I haven't got any of the bubbles yet. So yeah, um, I was like going to say, I was like, maybe we should have put it in a glass or something. Yeah. So you get the full effect of it. It's just going to be like a ton of uh, uh, the little bubbles at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which Very I'm fine. Nice. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. So, dude, what's up with the trip to Texas? Like, what did you guys do? So we did uh, we stayed in Austin, Texas. So we did a bunch of a a few different filming locations. We did Dazed and Confused, 1993, if those are familiar. We did a lot of those locations. Um, We did some Varsity Blues locations and um, some office space movie locations. Um, Yeah, but Texas is awesome. Texas is awesome. Uh, the food's great. Food's absolutely incredible. We did 
Uh, in and out. I had in and out for the first time. The mm. burger place. Have Have you had in and out before? Oh yeah. So oh, okay. So you have. So um, you like animal style? I did. I I did like the animal style. Yeah. yeah. So me and Nicole love the animal style. We wish we would have got it again. Uh, their fries were terrible, but the burgers are great. You know, uh, the the aesthetic and how it looks, the theming, all that stuff is incredible inside there. We had what a burger, which is like a Texas thing. Mm-hmm. Um, if people never had it before. Uh, my best description would be like Burger King burgers um, and like every single burger they have is like a Whopper size burger. So everything's like huge there. So the burgers are big. Their drinks are big. Like we got medium drinks and I think they were like, you know, they were like this far around. You know, they were pretty yeah. big drinks. Um, trying to think what else we had. Cherry Black's, which is an incredible uh, barbecue place. So that was absolutely incredible. Um, other than that, we went to Houston, not Houston, I'm sorry, San Antonio, Texas, uh, went to the Alamo and all stuff like that. So I uh, got some video footage there, which I'm super excited about. Um, I don't, I was, that was one of those places I never thought I'd actually get to see. So to actually see the Alamo mm-hmm. is pretty incredible. Um, have you been to the Alamo or, or San Antonio at all? Um, I, when I was a kid, we went there on oh, cause we should oh, take, so you have been there. Okay, cool. Was, yeah, so I don't really remember it, but oh, really? I, I know there's pictures of me at the Alamo when I was y- sure. younger. Yeah, so um, it's just like people say, it's a lot smaller, obviously, because the Mexican army destroyed most of it when they, mm-hmm. you know, invaded it, and so all that's left is the church, and then one of the long like bunks, which is like one of the long like buildings where the soldiers would have been or whatever, and then the rest of it's been like you know was torn down and destroyed and stuff like that, so. Um, but I mean, it's an awesome place to go, go and visit. I would say you can definitely feel the sad energy there. No doubt Mm -hmm. about that. Um, that's one thing I definitely did notice. And just going through a couple little, a little clip in the beginning, because when we first got there, we were like the first people there. So, because I wanted to be like the first people. So everyone was going to the church first. Mm -hmm. So we're like, well, let's go to this other area where no one is. I'll maybe have like a better chance of catching EVPs or evidence. And, um, just going over quickly, we definitely got like a, a uh, like that kind of a thing. And then some other voice, which I can't really identify, but um, very cool. I uh, can't wait to actually go over all that stuff. Um, but I would say more than anything, the most thing I loved was real Texas. Like Austin's like very different than the rest of Texas. So we drove out to Elgin, which is where they filmed like some of uh, Varsity Blues for people familiar with Varsity Blues, the movie. So it's like very much like... Uh, middle of nowhere texas we're talking like i don't know it's not even that far from austin like 40 minutes from austin east or something uh, we let me tell you me and nicole we parked there beautiful like picturesque like small small country town they had like this farmer's market going on we bought some stuff and i'm like looking around and i'm like i'm just like we're driving out and i'm like thinking to myself you know i was like you know what i could quit the paranormal and i could just quit my job and just come out here and live in elgin texas and just <laughs> <laughs> live the simple life and uh, nicole was thinking the same thing we're like oh like we, i could totally live here this place is incredible but uh but yeah just like yeah it was awesome it was awesome so i love real texas highly recommend anyone go to texas it's awesome the food's incredible um but yeah so that would be my texas adventure in like a five minute rant but awesome yeah, yeah i like texas a lot too um mm-hmm. we went to um dallas fort worth area oh, that's right. yeah that's right last year or yeah. the year before it was last year. It was really fun. Um, Fort Worth was was great. Like the, we did the uh, stockyards, and that's really cool. We got to see them like parade the cattle down the main street and all this stuff. So it was really cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's that's real Texas right there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like rodeos and and um, you know that like uh, cowboy and ranch and yeah, like th- that whole stuff. I love that part of Texas for sure. Um, yeah. yeah, so it was awesome. I love Texas a lot. Stamp of approval. Phil loves Texas. Awesome. So <laughs> I got to do something really cool too, man. So um, while we're talking about our adventures, so it was spring break for us this week. Um, something I have yet to do is I'm, I'm a huge soccer fan. I love soccer for all you UK and the rest of the world. Football. I love football. Um, so I got to go to an MLS game, which was incredible <clears throat> we have a mls team in nashville now which is only two and a half hours away from where i live so we drove over um watched the game we won which is always a bonus and man it's just it's just next level to see it in person 
you know, to experience the um, the singing and the constant cheering. It's it's awesome. I don't know if you know if you've ever watched a soccer game, but that the whole thing about soccer is it's 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 more of a fan participation also. Like the whole stadium is constantly singing their songs and and doing chants and they have drums and stuff going and people playing um, trumpets and stuff. It was, I mean, just awesome, man. It, it was a great experience. I loved it. One hundred percent recommend. If you have not never been to a soccer game, go watch a soccer game. <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you guys could get out and do that. I saw that you posted pictures of that, so I was like, oh, that's really cool. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I mean, to see any like a uh, sporting event that you've like are really into for the first time is definitely a whole other experience for sure. Yeah. Um, no matter like what the sport is, it's, it's definitely a lot cooler seeing it in person. Yeah. Uh, like no matter like, you know, where you're sitting, just the, to be a part of the atmosphere in the moment, that's kind of the, and like to feel the cheering and the booing and the, and the emotions and all that. That's like stuff you might necessarily get uh, at home when you're yeah. watching at home. So it's definitely cool that I'm glad you guys got to experience that as a family. And uh, who knows, maybe um, a couple of your kids now are, are even bigger soccer fans than before because oh, of it. They, you know they I mean? really or create some it. sort of bond with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, you know, they could become your guys thing or like, oh, dad, why don't we go to the soccer? You know, yeah. it, it well, could they, become they something special soccer. for you guys. Oh, yeah, see, there they, you go. Yeah. So it's, it's there great. There you go. No, that's um, awesome. Very good. I was going to say, <laughs> so today my wife and I were like, wanting to do a trip before my kids um, go to middle school. Cause they're all fifth graders and they're about to, you know, make the transition to junior high middle school. And um, so we're planning the trip and we're wanting to go on another cruise. Cause we, we love to go on cruises. So we are like, ah, where, you know, where do we want to go? Where do we want to do this? And um, so my, <laughs> my wife and I both at the same time, I was like, maybe there's a, you know, there's a port in Miami. So we've we've already got it planned out, dude. So we're gonna go to Miami um, to crew, you know, to leave out of that port, and also we're gonna see um, the <laughs> the Miami team. The uh, it's it's the one that um, Lionel Messi. I don't know if anyone. I'm I'm very stuck. I'm I'm very excited right now. So when I get excited, I kind of stutter. Yeah, you first. can't even, <laughs> folks. Folks, he's he's red in the face. He can't get it out. He's excited about the kids working. He's yeah. excited about this <laughs> soccer. Yeah. He's, it's just a big day for him. So bear yeah. with him. He's got it. <laughs> so we're going to go see uh, Lionel Messi, who I don't know if, you, if anyone who's not familiar with soccer. So soccer is the biggest sport in the world. It's not just, you know, everyone in America thinks, oh, soccer is nothing. You know, soccer is nothing. It is the biggest sport in, in the whole world. And, uh, Lionel Messi, who was, I guess, still is one of the biggest players in the world. It's 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 a kind of a toss up between Messi and uh, Ronaldo. Um, I'm more of a Ronaldo fan, but Messi is also a legend. Well, so he's he said that you know he was going to retire, but he's going to wants to do it in Miami. So he just joined the uh, Miami MLS team. So he's playing professional soccer here in the U.S now and uh we're gonna get tickets and go see Messi play because i don't know this may be his last season and it just just be epic to see so um i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> no that's awesome that's very cool no he's a big name in soccer that's for yeah. sure i know that name so yeah no that's awesome i'm excited for you guys it sounds like an awesome uh awesome awesome start to your vacation that's for sure have you guys decided on what island you're gonna go to um we're gonna do um another caribbean mm, uh okay. so i know kind of like a circuit type deal like a couple different yeah ones but or something. we're doing two private islands and one um i can't i don't know which island it is the main one we're going to but the other, other two they're like k's so they're like small mm -hmm. really small islands with um pretty much just beaches and and food on it <laughs> there's no like pop it's not populated it's owned gotcha. by the cruise line so yeah that's cool no very cool i'm glad when uh, when are you guys going um probably late july okay that's what we're playing for right now but uh it's it's because guys another big news i got uh me a possible offer on the table for a job so that will also depend on you know if i can work it into my negotiations of getting that time off. Cause mm -hmm. you know, that's, 
I don't know if I'll accrue enough time before the, you know, cruise, is supposed cruise to take or whatever. Place. Yeah. So I have to negotiate that in with my, uh, you yeah. know, negotiation for the job. So, but yeah, hopefully it'll work out. Yeah, no, I think it will. And that'll be, um, no, that'll be really good for you guys. That's for sure. I'm excited for you and I'm sure you're looking forward to it. That's for no, sure. I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah, dude. So, it's always great to get away. That's for yeah. sure. So, um, do you know what's on everyone's mind right now? They're like, why are they not talking about the the wisp of smoke that went across Phil's face? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, dude, we talked about that last week, Gina and I. Mm-hmm. And she was like, you know, I don't know what that was. It was it was definitely, definitely weird. So have you had a chance to look at it more closely now that you've gotten home? Um, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I looked at it for sure. Um I think what everyone's observation is, is probably the most correct one. I think it was really weird just that, you know, cause you could be like, Oh, that's just like dust or something, but to have it match up with when, uh, like I rubbed my eyes, like directly after that, it mm-hmm. almost just seemed like as, as if it affected me in some sort of way or something. Um, now in the moment I do remember like wiping my eyes or something, but I thought I was just tired or, or whatever. I didn't really think anything of it. I don't remember feeling anything weird at the time, but, um, clearly it, the, the timing of that is very strange and the whole, the whole thing is very weird. Um, mm-hmm. just because you saw it in the moment too. Um, and it, you can see my sc- screen right now. It's like pretty yeah. clear, you know what I mean? So if like something, um, and it's winter time, it's not like, not to say that bugs don't exist in the winter cause they do in your home sometimes, you know, they can, they can live and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, dude, right. it's definitely weird. I really don't know what to make of it. Yeah. I don't think it was a bug. There's definitely not a bug. I can say no, that because I don't think so. it kind of, it like floated like mm-hmm. almost like this, like a wave. Yeah. Um, and it started like, you could kind of see it start at your shoulder and go like and this across around. your favorite, across yeah. your face. Mm-hmm. So weird, man. So weird. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to remember, do you remember what we were talking about at the moment? Right? I don't. Like leading oh, up yeah, to that we, moment? We were talking about, um, Bigfoot in the forest. Oh, that's right. Uh, skunks. <laughs> Cause I was talking about, I smelled right. skunks. smells. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phantom smells and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 That's weird. Random. Yeah. It I was, was just wondering weird. if it, yeah, what it was, but yeah, that's so weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. So after all this time, I still don't know what that was. Still don't know to make of it. Um, very weird for sure. Um, yeah. Hopefully that never happens again. Oh, no, dude, I have, <laughs> I have an update on the Bigfoot stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, because yeah. when you went out and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, this just happened this past week. So I had a friend. Um, he contacted me and said that he, he works for our county. And he what he does, he goes out and he does um, surveying and stuff for new new developments. Like if they want to do a um, – like a a new subdivision, he goes and makes sure you know the land, you know the water water runoff is correctly done, and the roads and all that. You know he's going to make sure all that stuff works. So, um, he sent me a video. I'm just going to play the audio. Let me see. Let me, I got to find it right now. I'm just going to play it from my phone. Um, give me a second here. I know this is great. This is great, guys. I know you you love this one. I'm looking for something. (laughs) Okay, here it is. So, this is the video he sent me, the sound that he recorded. Let me turn on my audio. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. So that Wait, can you play it again? Almost out, yeah, I'll play it again. That's almost identical to the sound we heard. Okay. Yeah. No, definitely. It sounds like Predator. Yeah. Play exactly. Uh, I'm I'm trying. I'll do it again. Find it. Well, I would like to do it again, guys. Hmm. Okay, that's super yeah, weird, right? Definitely. And so he he definitely said it wasn't a um a uh, woodpecker or anything like that because that's the only other thing I can think it sounds like. But yeah, I think I think he would know if there was a woodpecker there. It it doesn't. Sa- My wife said the same thing. Oh, that's a woodpecker. 
I've heard woodpeckers, and that's I mean, if that's a woodpecker, yeah, okay, I'll give it that. But what we heard at midnight, woodpeckers don't peck in the middle of the night, you know. No, I, I've never heard of woodpecker pecking. It's you, they're, they're daytime animals, generally. Yeah. So. Um, but also, but like I said, if, if it was that, I mean, that being him, being doing surveys and stuff like that, you would think that he would know uh, what a woodpecker sounds like and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. was this something that he heard in the moment while he was like doing his survey and was like, Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, but another thing that was the weird, cause he brought this, the, you know, I, I told him, you know, you know, what, you know, what could it be? It could be this, it could be that. And he was like, well, you know, Bigfoot's mimic sounds, you know? So, I mean, it, I mean, it could be a Bigfoot mimicking, a woodpecker sound, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so I sent it to some people and, um, I'm, I'm being very cautious here <laughs> with, with things. And so apparently there is a very endangered species called the shoebill stork. And it's only in found in Africa, but they have been on, um, like the black market, um, pet you know like some people buy exotic pets and stuff sure yeah. so some people have owned these and maybe have escaped but there i mean there's very very little in the wild maybe like um 2000 left in africa right so it could be a cryptid like that as in a cryptid it's a real species but it's not supposed to exist here just like black panthers aren't supposed to exist in the smoky mountains but people see them so that that's considered a cryptid also gotcha but guys Listen to this. Okay, I'm going to play this. This is... This so that's the sound that thing makes. Which yeah. sounds just like the Predator. Sure. Uh, yeah, very, very similar, actually. Yeah, I'll play so it one more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah, so if very, very similar. Yeah, it, it is very similar. Um, And to me, that doesn't sound like a woodpecker at all. That... Yeah sounds more close to what we heard than the one he posted because that has, it's more, what we heard was a little bit more bassy, mm -hmm. but also, I mean, what he, he recorded was at a distance also, which, and in the fours, you know, it sound dissipates. So it could be more bassy than what I'm hearing on the audio. Sure. But yeah. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, cause sometimes what you hear in the moment is exactly what you capture yeah. on your device for whatever reason that can happen. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, that's definitely that, interesting. You have to keep us posted on that because uh, definitely weird. I mean, either way, either it's a, a cryptid stork that's not supposed to be around in Tennessee, a uh, predator itself, or Bigfoot or something. But um, I mean, both those things sound pretty similar. So yeah, um, I could see it almost sounds like kind of like um, like what uh, like a T Rex does in Jurassic Park or something like that. Exactly, kind of, they're very similar to that kind of like. Yes. Noise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean that it's crazy. Yeah, weird. It's definitely we weird. Be, we could be dealing with a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, we never thought it would be a dinosaur cryptid. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. So dude, um have you seen the news about the missing princess? Yeah. For sure. So why don't you give us just the uh, the overhead view of it, just in case anyone hasn't heard. But I'm pretty sure people have probably heard it by now. But just OK, so apparently so they're saying that nothing's wrong, right? The royal family is saying Kate, nothing's Kate wrong. Middleton. Everything. Yeah. yeah, everything's normal. Nothing's wrong. So the theory here's the theory. OK, the theory is that Kate Middleton disappeared around December or not. I want to I don't want to say disappeared like kidnapped or anything. She has been out of the media, out of the public eye since December. Um, there were some reports that came out that she had like a surgery or something. Um, mm -hmm. yep, but then uh, like she, you know, usually she's more of a public figure. 
Uh, let's see. Um, but there's this photo that surfaced, um, like a family portrait, right? Yeah, Associated Press post uh, yeah. uh, put it out there. Yeah, so it's it's so weird because um, there's, uh, you know, being a photographer and a Photoshop guy. Um, did I say Photoshop? <laughs> Photoshop. Not anymore. <laughs> Further <laughs> uh, being a Photoshop guy, um, you know, this is very, very interesting to me. So you know, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So here is the first thing I noticed was this inconsistency with um, typical Photoshop, like mess up, like these aren't connecting lines. Mm-hmm. This is not like a structure that is you know, splintered. Um, yeah. you can, I can tell this has been blurred and smudged in Photoshop. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can move this around. Um, her hand here is blurry compared to the shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you can see everything else here is in focus, like especially this arm. Yeah. It should be on the same plane. Sure. Uh, yeah, her absolutely. hand's blurry and this is not. Okay. Um, someone said the pattern here looks looks photoshopped, like it's not the correct pattern, or right here is different from the rest of it. Um, let's see, let's keep going. Um, I don't know what this is, this area around here uh, below her neck. Um, I think they may be saying that her hair's been photoshopped. I'm not it sure. Does, it does look a little weird. Yeah. Um, so then they're saying her hand over here is like you can see like a smudge. Like someone went in and photoshopped like this area, like cut her hand out and put it in here. Like this is really sharp and crisp lines, but then her her hands a little bit blurry compared to the the contrasting line here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then right here, you see, see where I'm pointing. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I'm zoomed in really close, guys. Uh, so yeah, see right here, this pattern is picking up like someone has copied and pasted the pattern of the dress over here, but it's somehow this is a little bit of the sweater is got mixed in here because they copied this and put it down here and didn't, you know, take the sweater out for, for, you know, whatever reasons, Mm -hmm. but also the hand, see the hand. Yeah. It's outside the sweater sleeve. Yeah. dude. Here's the sweater sleeve. And then it's kind of, it's not right. Yeah, because what's whole weird about this? There's like uh, they found out there's like at least sixteen edits on this photo or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then the the AP immediately, or I don't know if it was a day or two, or a couple of weeks, they immediately like uh, took the picture down and retracted the whole thing and was like, "Oh, sorry, it was a fake picture." Yeah. Um, it's, that was only weird. after the fact that people started pointing it out. Yeah. Another thing that I noticed which is weird is in the window, there's no reflection of the family. Yeah. The window. Yeah. Um, Cause you can see a reflection of something like you can see the inside, like a couch or something, but then you see the grass and a wall or some sort. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. They're not there at all, but there's no family reflection yeah. in the window. Yeah, That's, that's the biggest giveaway like, right see there. This right here, this structure yep. on this, the sticks, how they all kind of, um go together in like a a like star form or whatever right here mm-hmm. this i think is exactly this right here behind them it's reflecting but you don't yeah. see you know the family at all so that that's one thing that another thing is weird to me um it's like someone cut them out and put them in front of this door and you know stuff right here yeah um, yeah, yeah. yeah it's very weird but yeah, that's yeah. strange. And someone, I saw another video today where they showed um, a magazine cover that Kate was in, or she was on, and um, they overlaid the cover of her face in this, and it's identical. Like yeah. her eyes, see, her eyes are a little bit off too. Mm-hmm. Like she's got almost like a lazy eye, which I don't think she has. <laughs> you see, this eye is looking mm-hmm. looking over to the left, and this one's looking straight on. Um, yeah, which is really, really weird, but yeah, it's, it, I don't know. It's very bizarre. Um, 
I know there's a lot of my wife was telling me more stuff about it. That's kind of weird. There's a lot of um, things going on that says that, you know, blah, 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 had an affair. I don't print the prince had an affair and she found out and, you know, they're trying to cover stuff up. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very weird. Um, uh, But it seems like, you know, if nothing was going on, if she was okay, then they would be like, Hey, go do an Instagram live quickly and say, Hey, I'm okay, guys, I'm here. Mm -hmm. But nothing has happened like that. There's been some photos of her in a car um, with her husband. Um, Is it it Harry? Is Harry her husband? No, uh, uh, the other one. Uh, Not Harry. What's the other son's name? The older son. Um, I don't know. Oh, man, I'm not good with the royals. I know uh, Charles is the dad. Yeah. William. There you go, William. William. Williams yeah, the there's husband. a picture of her and William in a car, and they're like, "Oh, look, she's okay, but she's not looking at the camera. It's like the back of her head, you know." Yeah, yeah, yeah. which yeah. is really weird. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, there's all kinds of rumors swirling around, uh, to you know, why she wouldn't be seen, stuff like that. I mean, if she was pregnant and had an abortion, they were trying to hide it. I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. You know, just because they don't want the scandal of it, but doing even doing this is more of a scandal. Yeah, but the cheating was it wasn't her that cheated. It was it was um William that was hmm. the one that's was said to be cheating on her. Hmm. So I don't know. It's very weird, man. Um like I said, I need to look more into it. Um yeah. but it, it just struck me because I usually I wouldn't read too much into a foreign politics or the royal family. I just I just don't care, you know. If it's a if it has to do about England, you know, only thing I care about is soccer over there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure, um, the royal family. I mean, who cares? Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people do care um, in America, which is weird to me because you know, no one else in the world I think cares about our presidents. <laughs> yeah, Not I guess that way. Yeah, but I guess it's the whole royal, the royalty, because it's one of the last royal families, the last kings, and you know, monarchies, mm-hmm. which you know people find fascinating. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but, it's, it's it definitely is weird. I don't get it, but yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, um, but yeah, the 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 photo when it, you know being a photographer, I started looking at this picture, and the more I looked at, it, the more I'm like, yeah, okay, I see definitely a lot of Photoshop here, mm-hmm. definitely a lot. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's just very strange. Uh, the whole situation is very strange. It's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Really, yeah. I mean, I hope she's okay, guys. I mean, for real. I really hope she's okay because we all know the, you know, what happened with Princess Diana. That oh yeah yeah, that, yeah. that was very very tragic. Um, and you know all the stuff that's came out now that you know pretty much is conclusive that you know she was assassinated. Um, so it's you know it's pretty sad and you know I hope hope uh, Kate Milton's okay. Yeah, definitely. You never know, that's for sure. Um, yeah. But yes, it's uh, it's definitely weird, that's for sure. We'll definitely keep an eye on it for sure, because I'm interested to see um, how it all plays out, for sure. You know what we need to do? We need to holler at Tommy. <laughs> oh, yeah. There. He may, I mean, I don't know if he's got any more information, but I mean, he lives in England, so I mean, I'm sure that he hears more than we hear over here. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. For sure, yeah. He so, wants to yeah. come on the show anyway, so I mean, we should... We should hey, just hit him up. He may be listening right now, dude. Yeah, absolutely. you want to come on like tomorrow? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, right? We'll put it in this episode. But yeah. Tommy, Tommy's update, uh, UK update on the uh, what's going on with the uh, the question. I say the Queen. That's not right. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, <laughs> soon w- would be Queen, I guess. Proposed Queen whenever he William becomes king. Yeah, if that. Um, yeah, but yeah, man, it's weird. And I know there's a lot of the um, – I know it's 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 very conspiratorial, but the whole, you know, Nephilim bloodline that runs through the royal family, there's a lot about that. Um, speaking of which, we're going to have uh, Joel Thomas on soon who knows all about that. Is it like the draconian bloodline or something like that? That's what it's called. That's all that's bizarre though, dude. It's all mm-hmm. bizarre. Yeah. It's uh it's a whole other world that I don't even begin to uh 
uh, know about or understand, but uh, it's definitely interesting and intriguing. So we'll be excited to have, interview him and ask him um, where he thinks Kate Middleton is. Maybe he knows. <laughs> Maybe Joel, he knows. You know Maybe she, this is all part of the Joel, sacrifice. You know <laughs> He'll tell us, you know, it's all part of some sort of sacrifice, uh, you know, some sort of blood sacrifice they got to do. Yeah, you know, maybe so, you know that nothing. I would nothing would surprise me. So, oh man, this is oh, dude, the John Cena saw, thing is that what you're going to talk about? I don't know about the John. I, I need to know about this John Cena thing, but <laughs> I don't know about that. But it sounds oh, good. Okay. Oh, okay. So, but I was going to say something else. I heard um, someone was it who was it? Was it on Tinfoil Hat? Maybe, maybe Tinfoil Hat. They're talking about um, about Kanye. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. maybe it wasn't tinfoil. Maybe it was Richie the barber. Um, snip snap. Yeah. So I think Richie, he, he became a Christian, right? Okay. And I've been following him a lot. His, his stuff's really good. Um, he talks a lot about the stuff he's witnessed in Hollywood and all that stuff, you know, on his podcast. Oh, very cool. Um, but he was talking about Kanye and, uh, how, you know, he, Kanye was like, uh, like, changed his ways and became a Christian and all this, you know, and Kanye started coming out and talking about how, um, you know, the, how dark the Hollywood elite was and stuff like that. He was saying how, um, they, they made him kill his mother or something like that, or sacrifice his mother, Kanye's mother. Um, and all this other stuff that they made him do. And, um, then Kanye like said something to the effect of, if I disappear for a while and I come back and it's not acting like me or being like me, then, you know, they killed me and they cloned me and put somebody else out here. So <laughs> Kanye, you know, is, <laughs> he's kind of out there anyways. Right. Mm-hmm. So who who knows, yeah, but this definitely. new Kanye that's around now is definitely even more bizarre <laughs> than the old Kanye. Um, wearing all the, you know, like hoods and mask over his face and just saying, saying very satanic stuff, like in his new rap song and stuff about how oh, he really? is Jesus. And he, he cusses right after he says Jesus name and just not, not the Kanye that released two Christian albums, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> definitely seems different, you know? Yeah. That's that, weird. That, that's yeah. what I was going to get into the, with the whole, like <laughs> the, Talking about celebrities going and missing that just, you know, ring that memory in my mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, I just brought that up because I don't even know where I heard this. It was just some sort of random, I don't know where I heard it from. But someone also had said that same thing about John Cena because of what he did at the Oscars where the where he was like, he wasn't naked, but, you know, he was like uh, pretending he was like naked underneath the card and stuff. And like, the, like it was a human, it was uh, some people were saying it was a, uh, um, I don't, I don't believe this, but they were saying that it was like a humiliation type of initiation. You know what I mean? So he had to be humiliated in order to be in, into this group, you know, Illuminati or whatever the hell. I don't know mm-hmm. what group they were mentioning, but um, I did hear that. So probably absolutely nothing, but uh, I did hear that. So just it, it just popped in my mind. I wanted to mention it just because I heard someone else was talking about it. So I was like, oh, that's kind of weird, but. I have heard about the humil- humiliation initiative or initiations in the past. Um, Do you remember what it was for? Was it Illuminati or was it something else? I don't know if it was Illuminati or what it was for, hmm. but um, a lot of people say that Daniel Ratcliffe went through that also. He was on some some Western show. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but he um, was like singing in drag on it on the stage in one of as one of his uh or as part of the show part gotcha. of the um tv series in one episode but uh yeah so i don't know yeah yeah just to something uh, you know as far as conspiracy stuff uh, that happened this week or since i've been off i just wanted to mention it just to just to mention it probably absolutely nothing but uh yeah. just kind of weird i need to look into that though cuz i haven't heard anything about that mhm mhm so what else just, is weird going on in the world right now? Well, like uh, speaking of that, it's like something similar happened where like you texted me about what we we're going to talk about on the show. Mm. And I could have sworn I texted you back and said, oh, I got like we can talk about Austin, Texas and my trip and a couple other things, blah, blah, blah. And like, OK, cool. And then you text me back, whatever you text me today. And I look at the thing and it's not there. And I'm like, did I not text him back? And they're like, did I text you back? 
And you're like, no, I don't think so. And I'm like, who did I text? So then I'm thinking, oh my God, did I like text someone else? What I was supposed to text you? And then it just somehow, you know, they just didn't say anything or I don't know. But either way, it was weird because I could have sworn I was like, I thought we had this conversation already, but yeah, it was weird because I could have sworn I remembered like typing out the text and everything. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. And I was like, oh, Jason hasn't said anything back. I'm like, oh, okay. But um, yeah. Glitch in the matrix. You never know. You never know. <clears throat> but um, yeah, what a wild week. I think next week, I think we have a guest as long okay. as um, as long as the guest doesn't cancel, of course. Who is uh, uh, Her name is uh, Kristen Evans. That's right. Um, That's right. Yep. Yeah, she's a paranormal investigator uh, for a long time in the Bridgewater Triangle area. Um, so she's a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of stories. Um, so I can't wait to have her on and talk about any number of things that she's done over the years. Um, she's worked with a lot of like famous um, Bridgewater Triangle investigators and stuff like that. People that are were in the documentary and stuff like that. So, you know, she's been around for a long time and investigated a lot of different places. So it'd be cool, cool to uh, talk to her. So um, that'll be next week. So I'm excited about that. Or the week after next. I'm sorry. Maybe the week, week after next. next. I think okay. so. I'm I keep thinking. Sure what I know. I think it's <laughs> the end of the month, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, maybe. It's getting there. Not I know sure. we're gonna get two weeks till uh, Easter, I think. Which it's crazy. is kind of crazy, right? Easter yeah, super I mean, early this year. Yeah, it is. Um, it's also weird because every week I think Kevin's coming. On. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're like, we got a guest next week. It's like, is, it's Kevin? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I know. You know what it was? I think originally he was supposed to come up here, and then he was gonna come on after, like we recorded together, but then we just. Um, we never set it up because yeah. we never came up here. Um, but yeah, I think I think he was supposed to come up here the 16th, but I never confirmed with him. So I got to double check now that I'm thinking about it. But um, yeah, we'll we'll figure out a time to get Kevin on here and yeah. Tommy uh, for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely, get, definitely, we'll get Tommy on here. Yeah, we'll start <laughs> scheduling some guests for the next uh, two months. Yeah, we need to. We need to. I mean, that's guys. If you are listening to our show and you want to be a guest. We would love to have you on if you're in another country, because I know there's a lot of people like in, in Sweden, they have been listening to the show. And oh, if you can, right, right. yeah, if you can speak English, cause I know there's a lot of folklore in Sweden that I would love to get into. Um, I don't know. I know Norway has a, a big legends about the, um, the Fae. The uh, with the trolls and yeah, the um, niece and yeah, 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 um, yeah. So, if you have any stories, I would love to have you on, even if you, I mean, if you're not confident in, in, in speaking English, if you can, you know, try to get through it, I would love to have you on. Um, it, w- it would be great. Um, I'm just I'm fascinated with the whole fey folk and uh, the fey legends, uh, that came f- come from Europe, it's very, very interesting to me. Yeah, that's cool. What's our what's our number one um, country besides the uh, U.S. as far as listeners go? Is it Sweden? Um, I think it is Sweden. Um, yeah, we have that's a awesome. few few in the U.K. Yeah, um, we have. A, I don't know how many, but we've we've hit some of the the charts because you know the charts podcasting chart guys it it, it starts at two hundred. If you're above two hundred, then you don't show up on the charts. So we we've, we've showed up in the um, hundreds like 150s or something like that in Australia. Um and also we've showed up on the charts. I can't remember we were really high up, but in Brazil also. Um but in Sweden we've been as high as like 5 and 6 on the podcast chart in Sweden. So yeah. Interesting. I am part Swedish, so it makes you wonder. Hmm. They, yeah, they're coming. They're coming for you. They know this. Yep, they're like, I think we know this guy. We know this yeah. guy. His family used this to. This guy looks very skinny. In the old country, yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. But Sweden is is such a beautiful country, dude. I it's, bet. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I've only seen pictures, but I would love to go uh, visit Sweden, Europe, the UK. England is probably my number one as far as uh, foreign places I would like to visit for sure. Yeah. Um, I have a friend from England. He, he's, well, I would say he's American. (laughs) 
he's lived here longer than he's he lived in England now. Gotcha. So, gotcha. But he still has his, a very strong British accent. Oh, really? Um, but yeah, it's it's funny. I was just thinking because um, <laughs> my mind, uh, I'm you know, <laughs> I like to play jokes on people and stuff. So my mind was just thinking like about you know because I was just talking about the language barrier with Swedish. Uh, one thing that British people have such a hard time saying is the pronunciation of aluminum in, in the U S because mm-hmm. they call it aluminum. Yeah. And uh, I was, t- <laughs> I was talking to Tim once and I said, can you say aluminum? He was like, alu- al- al- al-. <laughs> he just couldn't, couldn't get yeah. it. Out. <laughs> yeah. It is weird. They have a couple of ones like that, that are kind of strange, like uh, vitamins. They say vitamins, vitamin, yeah. vitamins. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of weird ones like that. Um, even some of the spellings are kind of strange, like uh, and the like when they spell color, it'll be instead of C O L O R, it's C O L O U R. Oh, really? Yeah, or remember. like favorite is the same way. They put a little mm-hmm. U in there next to the O instead of just the O. Um, hmm. Yeah, so there's a few things like that. I think Canadians are like that too, uh, with certain words uh, like that. I don't know why they do, but they do. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Canada is another one of those um, places that I really want to visit. I really want to go because we've talked about this in the past. I love Oak Island. I want to go to Oak Island yes. and, and check yes. that place out. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Man, I, I'm so enthralled with that show right now because they're actually finding really cool structures and stuff that have never seen the light of day. No yeah. one has ever found. And it's it's awesome. No, absolutely. I, I know. I, I wish I'm still way behind on the show. I need to catch up, but um, I've heard a couple of things I've been finding, and it's it's a uh, it's definitely incredible for sure. Yeah, uh, um, I'm excited. I yeah, want it. I want it. Show. I've been watching it for um, gosh. better part of ten years. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean eleven years, I think now. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, dude. It's I re- I was one of the first. I was like uh, I was on board like season one, season two, season three. That's when I started watching. Yeah. So yeah, I've been watching for a long time. You know, back when they were just getting coconut fibers, you know. Yeah. Um. You know, before they actually found stuff, but um. Yeah. Great show, man. Yeah, Great show. Is. And uh, speaking of uh, British, there, um, the metal detector guy. What is oh, his name? Uh, G- Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary <laughs> Draper. Gary Drayton. Drayton. That's Drayton. it. That's it. His pronunciation of some things is just oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah. a bobbly dazzler. Yeah, <laughs> and they you know, he says uh. Pewter, he says is poo Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then my wife is like, I think he's exaggerating. He's over exaggerating his accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. When he says like hole, stick. hole, he'll say, "Ole." Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's the other one he says all the time? Um, gosh, I cannot. Can't think of it, but there's another one that just it I'm just sure there. Yeah, right me I'm, a lot, I'm a little bit behind, so I've been I'm a little rusty on the show, but yeah. yeah, um, such a great show. I love all the characters on that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Show. I mean, it, it mean, it seems like they all get along really well, though, and like it's 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 really cool. Um, you know that they've lasted this long, and you know all the team is still a part of it because you know after a while, sometimes you know being a part of a popular show like that, you yeah. know, you kind of get a big head and you're like, Oh, you know, I know more about this than you, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's ego, cool. Egos yeah, get ego. involved yeah. and, and, you know, yeah. People think they, uh, you know, are being mistreated or not important enough or, you know, whatever. Yeah. That kind of stuff can definitely happen. So to yeah. have a show, um, as popular as theirs and to have that sort of success and longevity is, you know, pretty incredible. Like you're saying. So, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, man. Well, dude, I think we've covered a lot of stuff tonight. I know I wanted to talk about the clips, but we we may save that. I want to do a little bit more research on it. Yeah, sure. We, we can hit it more more detailed next time. Yeah, because uh, so guys, we still got time. Yeah, it's April eighth or whatever. That's we got a we got a while for that. Yeah, but um, it's 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 crazy, guys. I don't know if you've uh, looked into the clips and everything, but it, it's it's got some weird stuff. I don't want to go into right now because I don't want to spoil the future episode. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's very strange. Yeah, that's right. You, let's just let's just say you're gonna have to uh, keep your eyes peeled, you know, for, yep. for that because yep. yeah, it's definitely interesting uh, for sure. Oh, guys, and by the way, as we're recording right now, is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's right. At, yeah, 
Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's right. Look. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you guys had your corned beef and cabbage. I don't know if anyone else does that or any any other parts of the country besides New England, but that's what we do. So um, yeah. that was in a really great time. We had that today. It was delicious. So, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone out there. And we can't wait to see you on the next one. Yeah, guys. Remember, follow, like, five-star reviews. Check out fattack.com, all that stuff. And we'll see you next time. Peace. 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 Peace, 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 peace. <laughs>